is to um, to take the ladies out. It's called bike What's life for a reason. Exit. There's no stopping. There's no retiring from it. That's why the word life is on the end. You're going to do it for life. And if anybody think bike life bullshit, they not living. This right here, this is a sport, though. This, right, this is a sport. This ain't, this ain't got no bad stuff to it. Well, everybody here family. And when we all form together, we form like Voltron, and we definitely run the streets. I do this shit because it's my passion, man. That's what I love to do. I do this shit every day. But you gotta fall to know what not. Welcome to Country Boy Tested. Thank you for stopping by. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Today what I'm going to do here is I'm verifying the weight of the battery so that it can show you that this is a 28 amp hour battery on the Cron, the Cron J X1 Spark. Also, the I'm going to show you at the end of this, so if you don't want to go through the battery verification skip to the end and you can see the part of how to install the battery and how to take it out so that's what we're doing today at country boy test it thank you for stopping by let's get to it all right everybody welcome back to the channel i had a little update i had to show y'all check this out this is a 72 volt 30 amp hour battery i'm definitely of that and this is what it weighs it weighs 22 pounds, 22 pounds, 72 volts, 30 amp hours. Okay, now I was showing everybody that the, the Cron J had a 23 amp hour battery. That's what I thought because on the bottom of the battery right here, it says, Let's put that up so y'all can see. 23.4 amp hours. Okay. That's what it says. But check this out. And I'm going to show you something. You can go by weight now on these batteries because they always weigh the same because of the um, count on the sales. And it's the, them sales have a specific weight. But check this out. This one is 20, 20 and a half pounds. 20 and a half pounds and they claim that it was a 28 amp hour 60 volt battery this is a 28 amp hour battery i'm verifying this i hope y'all can see this this is it weighs 20 20 and a half pounds it's just under a 30 amp hour battery that's right this is a 28 it's just marked wrong i don't know why they got their label wrong this is a 28 amp hour battery. I took it out yesterday. That's what made me weigh this battery. I went out and rode yesterday for two hours in the woods. I was on one and two. I was, I was hitting it, going through the marsh and everything. Then I hit the road a couple of times and took it to the max. After all of that riding and coming back home, I found out I still had three energy bars. I was like, okay, either this is not right or the battery is a 28 amp hour. Verifying everyone, this is a 28 amp hour battery on the X1 Spark. It's just marked wrong. It's labeled wrong. It's got 23 amp hours on it. It's not, it's actually a 28 amp hour battery. I'm showing you the weight on it to prove to you this is what they claimed it is, what they say. So that's not false advertising. Anybody that wants to see this, come on back and look at this video right here. I'm showing you the weight on the, um, on the Cron J X1. There it is. And then the other one, I just took it off. You see it, back it up so you can see it. All right, y'all, there's verification. This is a 28 amp hour battery. And I rode it yesterday. I'm gonna have to range it this week sometime and just ride it until it goes completely out. And then we'll we'll know exactly. But you're really not getting a good range because I'm in the woods and I'm doing jumps and all going through the marsh and all of that. So that's a different way of looking. You know, it's harder to range how many miles. I'm gonna put my GPS on me, but it's not accurate either because when I get in the woods, it don't pick up sometimes, which throws the GPS off. And if you know how those work, when they can't tell something or they lose contact, lose contact with the set with you or the satellite, it kind of like does its own figure and then like eggs here like, hi, this is what I think. This is what it should be, you know. So GPSs aren't as accurate as a physical, physical odometer. 
so you can see exactly how much how much mileage you're getting. All right, everybody, that's all I wanted to show y'all to let you know that this battery is, is um 28 amp hours. Peace. Okay, everybody, I had someone request that I show them how to take the battery out. I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna show you how to install it. So this part of the video, I've already verified with the weight. When you take your batteries out or leave them out, I take mine in the house. I don't leave them outside, but I store my bike in the building. So I leave the screws. Let's turn it so you can see. I leave the screws in the slots. Oh, we'll get that. There it is. Where did it go? It fell out. GoPro stop recording. Okay, I had a subscriber ask about taking the battery out, how you take it out. I'm gonna show you how to put it in. And you just reverse this, cause that would mean taking it out would be way easier. I showed you the space you have here. Now when you're done with your screws to, that hold it in, make sure you um i put them back into the, the holes so that way you don't lose your screws and that way you can't you you know you always have them now it's pretty simple it's nothing complicated about this all right now the battery does weigh 21 pounds so watch your fingers be careful i tilt my Make sure your plug is out of the way. I tilt mine and just let it slide into place. Now, if you want to help you secure it so it's not, don't fall out, plug it in. See, there's no spark. Make sure you cover up your, your charging port. And when you plug it in, make sure you flip that up and push that back down. And you can push that around out of the way. Then I start by putting that front one in. It goes in the easiest. Sometimes it'll be a little tight. Then it'll start going in. Now I don't put it all the way in tight first because the back one sometimes you got to line these up. The back holes, they don't seem like they want to go in. But once you get them, hold up. Let's do the top one first. I'll stand up over the bike. Let's sit that one right there. And lift it, and you see that it goes. It gets started. So I'll get that one started. Then I'll take this one. The last one part of my hand. Now y'all touch it. Okay. Some issues. Okay. All right, then it's just as simple as tightening them down. Now, I'm not going to over tighten these because you don't have a lot of material that you're screwing into. And over torquing them, you can strip them. I tighten them. I put a good maybe 10 pounds of torque on them with my hand. Okay, and that's it. That's the install, and you take it out the same way. And just remember when you take it out, everybody, put your screws back in there so you don't lose them. Because that's a headache. If you lose them, then you, you can't secure this. You got Well, you could. You could put some straps on it. But why, you know, when it's already got everything already there. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for stopping by Country Boy Tested. It is Christmas. Uh, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. And here's my Christmas present right here. Thanks for stopping by. Smash that like and um, subscribe. We'll be doing some maintenance. And I did see a dongle in there, a thing for a dongle port. I'll put a picture on there. So if someone has a far driver controller and you recognize this is the... Um, the part where we plug the, top, the dongle in, please um, comment and let me know if this is it. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. This is your boy, Country Boy. Test it out. Peace. Merry Christmas.